I'm skipping the interlude. The amount of cringe in that was... <sighs> Up until now, the Centurion's gone from battle to battle with no resupplying in between. When the... However, thanks to all the unforeseen obstacles we've encountered, the Imperial ambushes, a forced detour, our supplies are already running thin, and we're nowhere near the Empire's capital yet. In particular, there's the backup engine. It requires an enormous amount of Ragnite to keep it running. Right now, if we just charge on forward, there's a very real chance we'll run out of fuel. And if we get stranded in the middle of a frozen wasteland, it wouldn't just mean the failure of our mission. It would be certain death for everyone on board. There's no other way around it. We need to restock our fuel and ammunition before they're gone entirely. So, our next destination is a port town on our new route. The Empire has been using it as a supply hub. This is no ordinary resupply mission. The fate of everyone on board the Centurion hangs in the balance. No matter how far we go, all you can see is snow. It's scary to think what would happen if we ran out of fuel. Have you heard of the Minette? The Minette? In the last war, there was a ship called the Minette with a crew of 20. They got stranded and drifted for days. But when they found the ship after the war, there was only one body. All they found of the other 19 was just a big pile of bones in the kitchen. Don't say that! We would never go that far! One body? A hundred? It doesn't matter. We're still going to... Loof! The Centurion isn't like the Minette. We're not just drifting out here. Besides, we're surrounded by snow. At least fresh water won't be an issue. Anyone ever tell you you're too optimistic for your own good? <laughs> We've got to keep our heads up somehow. But we can't keep this up forever. Please, Claude, save the... We'll be arriving at our deployment point soon. Prepare for land combat immediately. Leave it to me. I'll make sure y'all make it back safe. And the transport trucks, too. I've used every trick in the book to make it this far. We've been pushing the backup engine to run on empty. It's affecting the machinery. If we don't get some more Ragnite soon, the whole system could backfire on us at any moment. We'd be sitting ducks out here. I'd rather not wait for the Empire snipers to pick us off. They wouldn't even have to snipe us. They could just pull up a chair and watch us die. Ugh, I've got goosebumps just thinking about it. We'll just have to take all the Ragnite the Empire's got and their weapons and ammo while we're at it. Might need some more food, too. We're almost out of bread. We don't have any eggs, milk, or sugar, either. If we had those, I could make some pudding for Angie. Fuel is our top priority, but some more food couldn't hurt. Remember, though, we're not pillaging. We're targeting military facilities only. I don't want any civilians caught in the crossfire. <clears throat> Claude, do you have a moment? I made a list of all the supplies we need. Can we go over it? Perfect timing. Let's hash out who's gonna do what. Our first priority is fuel, and then... We park the transport trucks out back behind the warehouse. Then, while we distract the guards... Transport trucks? Maybe I can go outside on one. <gasps> Let's go, Rex! This is where we meet up with the Resistance, right? Yeah. We're looking for a blue rose in a window. Oh, because the Rebels are called the Blue Rose. I guess not all imps are rotten, huh? This city was originally part of the Nord Republic. 
The Empire hasn't been in control for long. They want to fight for their homeland, same as us. That's why they're working with the Federation. If they hadn't let us in, we'd have had no choice but to storm the city for our supplies. Well, I'm glad they're on our side. The less we gotta do, the better. Still, if we get caught, we'll end up prisoners of war. But the Resistance... Right. If the Imperials find them, it'll be Einhemt all over again. We'll have to be careful how we communicate. Shh! Some soldiers are coming. Hmm. Okay, I got this. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Sorry, pal, but it's nap time. Wait, stop! Stop and smell the roses. That's the code. You're with the blue rose? <laughs> Raz, let him go. He's our contact. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry about that. My name is Mika. We already took care of the prep work. Let's go. Okay. Follow him. Rags, what's wrong? We're leaving. <sighs> Come on, you weird dog. Fine. Stay and watch the trucks. <gasps> oh, Rags, were you worried about me? Oh. Thanks, but I think I have to go. It feels like someone's calling me. Like I have to hurry up and find them. I hear it from over there. <sighs> yeah, it'll be okay. It's just a little scary. But I... I have to go. anyone oh it's so pretty the ice is all shiny it just looks like a big white field from up on the ship but i like being in town too it's warm and bright <laughs> is that doggy your friend friend why yes he's a good friend he's just like rags he looks really smart. You think he'd be friends with me? <laughs> Good boy. That's strange. Fenrir usually doesn't like anyone petting him but me. Aww. <sighs> Aww, now Rax is his friend too. <sighs> you... I see now. I didn't realize. You spoke of a ship. A Federation snow cruiser, yes? Why would they come to this town? Um, I'm sorry. I don't really remember. You don't remember? I only remember my name. It's Angie. Of course. Memory loss. It was like that for some of the others, too. Maybe that's for the best. You might be happier that way. But I don't like not knowing anything. Everyone's working so hard, but I can't do anything to help. All I can do is hide behind them. At dinner, everyone only gets two pieces of bread, but they all still share some with me. Uh, and when you know what? Screw this. I'm sorry, but the cringe. This is just pure freaking cringe. Thank God I don't have to deal with this crap. Fortunately, status quo is returning, so you don't have to hear my voice anymore. Uh...